simmering tensions erupting into rage. In the eastern state of Bihar, violence and vandalism. An outpouring of anger, young Indians desperate for jobs in an unemployment crisis. Across the nation, thousands are protesting. In the southern city of Sikandarabad, another train torched. Police opened fire to disperse crowds, killing at least one and injuring several others. Changes to the prestigious army recruitment scheme have brought them to the streets. New hires will only be given a fixed term of four years. Just a quarter would be kept on beyond then. Protesters fear it's no longer a job for life. What kind of job is this for just four years, this protester asks. After that, we'll become unemployed again. The home of an official from the ruling BJP party also vandalised. The government says its plans will reduce unemployment and military spending. This scheme is a golden opportunity for the youth of India to serve the nation and keep it secure. The government also promised to create hundreds of thousands of other jobs for India's youth, with unemployment at record highs. To many, the damage and destruction we've seen here and across India is shocking. But to others, it doesn't come as a surprise. The symbol of a frustrated generation who are facing a long-term jobs crisis, who say they're short on opportunity and on hope. In times of economic uncertainty, they want security. As the backlash against these reforms grows, it could become one of the biggest challenges facing India's BJP government. Regini Vaidyanathan, BBC News. Partner, Bihar.